Your account has been temporarily locked. We've detected suspicious activity on your Instagram account and have temporarily locked it as a security precaution. It's likely that your account was compromised as a result of entering your password on a website designed to look like Instagram. This attack is known as phishing. Over the next few steps, we'll ask you to verify your identity to help secure your account and let you log back in. Temporary lock messages on Instagram. This video, we're gonna talk about what these are, uh, how to fix them, uh, why Instagram is sending these out, and then tips for if you have gotten one of these. Also, um, I know some people have gotten these and they don't remember their their phone number or email that they have attached to the account for whatever reason. And I'll tell you how to fix that as well. I wanna go ahead and go over how to fix this if you do have one that popped up because I feel like that's where most of the views are actually gonna come from if this pops up for you. This is how you fix it. Now I did have it on one of my own accounts. I got it earlier this week. Um, I have already fixed it. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, go through the steps of how you do this. So the first step is you press that continue button on the screen. Um, it's gonna have that message that I just read out. Press continue. It's gonna say, help us confirm that you own this account. Now they're either gonna have your email or your phone number on file. Go ahead and press the button that says send security code. They're gonna go ahead and send the code to your email address. And then you go ahead and put that code into the, the input box, the text box right there. Now, once you put that in and they've confirmed that it is actually you, they're gonna ask you to change your password because they think that your account has been hacked or someone has, you're the victim of a phishing scam. So they're gonna have you change your password and update it. And then you'll be able to log back in and then you'll have access to the account. I've also heard of people doing this and they don't know what the email and phone number attached to the account is. So to get the account back, it's a little bit more tricky. You're gonna have to go ahead and uh, do like forgot password and try and change your password. And if that doesn't work, you're gonna have to let them know that your account has been banned. Even though it hasn't been banned, you're gonna have to fill out that form um, cause that's the only way that you're actually gonna get in front of an actual human. And then they're gonna send you more steps through there. They're gonna email you, have you send them a picture and then you can get your account back uh, by doing that. Um, but and you may even have to do that a few more times because they're going to be really sketched out if they think that you're the victim of a phishing scam and you don't know your email or your phone number. So make sure you keep that information. <laughs> that information is pretty important. Don't forget your phone number or your email address. I don't even know how some of you guys are running into this problem. Okay, so that's how to fix it. So if you're here just to get it fixed, I hope that helped. Let's talk about what's going on here. Um, Instagram has been seeing a lot of phishing uh, cases lately. A lot of people have gotten their accounts hacked. My girlfriend literally just got a text the other day uh, where she, uh, it was like a fake Instagram message where they wanted her to change her password or something or enter her password in. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about people falling prey to these attacks and then also people who are, you know, trying to get back at the people who are doing these kinds of phishing attacks. So it's an issue that Instagram's having. So they're testing out new AI or a new algorithm to try and track and see who is falling victim to phishing attacks. So that's why we've been seeing a lot more of these recently. Now the problem is, is that the AI is kind of on the fritz right now and it's not doing the job correctly. Um, I know a lot of people who have their devices logged into multiple accounts and they've gotten this message and they've had to fix it. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. I myself on my personal account on Digital Dustin I, I got this message and um, I, I have it logged in the two different devices and that's why it was triggered on that account. And I had to go ahead and confirm it was me, get my email uh, confirmed in there, get my phone name, number confirmed in there and I got back into the account. And it's just weird that they sent out this message to me just because I'm logged in the two different devices. Um, I, I don't think I typed in my password on any sketchy site that was claiming to be Instagram. So I think that the algorithm is just being super aggressive right now because they're just trying to be super careful. You know, maybe they're just trying to get everyone to change their password and uh, turn on two factor authentication. But yeah, that's why they're sending out a lot of these. Uh, it's happening to everyone. It's happening across the board. I've been I've been hearing a lot of people say that they've hit this message. I've, I've hit this message myself. So yeah, that's why that's why these are going out. Now let's talk about tips of what you can do if you have received one of these. If you have received one of these, what you can do is go ahead and turn on two-factor. Well, first go through, get your get your password changed, get back into the account, 
of course do that and then after that what you can do is you can turn on two-factor authentication um, either with your phone number or the authenticator app um, I recommend the phone number just because it's easier that's what I do and the other tip is to make sure that both your email address and your phone number are confirmed on your profile I'm going to show you on my phone real quick how to turn on two-factor authentication in case you do not know how to turn this on you go ahead and go into settings right here and then security and then two-factor authentication and uh, you can go ahead and turn that on also you can tell that Instagram's having a huge issue with these phishing scams or cases or whatever because they actually have this new thing in the security uh, section of the Instagram app right here underneath two-factor authentication it says emails from Instagram right here you can see that I got an email when I turned on two-factor authentication which I did after um, I they gave me the phishing scam message temporary lock message turned on two-factor authentication you can see that they sent me a message saying that they actually emailed me so this is a new feature if you want to check out and see if it's actually Instagram reaching out to you so that you don't get scammed um, and this just shows that they're having a huge issue with phishing scams across the board that's how you turn on two-factor authentication that's how you check to see if Instagram actually messaged you also want to show you guys how to confirm your contact information so what you do is on your main profile you click edit profile right there you go to personal information settings it's gonna be at the bottom of the screen and then you're gonna see your email your phone number and if it's not confirmed it's gonna have a little box right next to your email address or your phone number that says like please confirm your email I'll make sure your email is confirmed make or confirm and it's just like an orange box I think so go ahead and make sure that you confirm your email and your phone number and you have both of those attached to your account you won't receive this message it's gonna be a lot harder for anyone to actually hack your account as well so it's good security yeah I just wanted to update you guys because I've seen a lot of this message um, I got it myself <laughs> kind of weird really surprised i got that it doesn't it doesn't make sense at all i think the instagram ai or the algorithm is kind of on the fritz and they're trying to do a good job they're trying to stop these people from getting hacked which is good i you know they're doing the right thing it's just that their algorithm is a little bit too aggressive right now in my opinion because it's popping up on me and uh, i definitely did not type in the wrong information there's not anyone else in my account so Super weird. Hope this helped. <laughs> Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.